debacle. I feel like braids have gotten out of control. I swear, braids used to be like $50 for two straight backs. They charge in a house, a car, and two legs now for straight backs. $70. It could have gotten me seven, six, number six is from McDonald's. If y'all know what that is, you a real one. 10 piece nugget, that's 70 nuggets I could have had. Wow. Welcome back to my channel, local babies. If you're not a local baby, unethical, unlogical, questionable, confusing, disgusting, atrocious. Those are all the words I have for you if you're not su subscribed yet. Like, I'm just, I, offensive, trifling. Like, it's just like, it's so many words I can describe that, okay? Not even gonna get into the negativity because I just I, I I'm I'm in a positive headspace for now. I don't even want to address that. So as y'all can see, this story time is about the worst hairstylist in the city of Philadelphia. Oh God, I'm sorry. I'm getting so hot with this fur coat on. Well, this fur jacket, whatever pullover, whatever it's called. Because it's just like I'm getting so mad just thinking about it. I'm gonna hop right in because I don't got time. So basically, I, I worked at a summer camp, you know, for like five years as a tennis coach. Y'all don't, I don't know if y'all know, but I played tennis since I was four, but I quit like a year ago, two years, no, like a year and a half ago. Anyway, I was working with my coworker, let's call her K, KK. So I'm like, KK, my hair is a hot mess today, okay? And KK, KK always had the hookup, like she always knew somebody who knows someone that knows someone that does something. So I'm like, KK, who braids hair? Because my usual hair braid, if she does like the little braids, I want it like big, like little, little straight back. So I'm like, KK, who does hair? She said, I got you. So she looked at the little place on Instagram. I'm like, okay, okay. She's like, yeah, yeah, yeah. My friend went there. Who knows a friend that went there? And her baby dad go there. And then her stepfather go there, her son. And then his son and his cousin and mom. And then his her granddaughter. And then the godmom goes there. Okay. So I was like, all right. So I looked through the page. I'm like, yeah, her work is nice. You know, it's good. And she always took pictures of, like, her clients in a backdrop. And you could just see the work. It was good. So I was like, all right, I'm about to book her. Take out my phone. I go to book her. So um, I'm going to just make a little side note. I feel like braids have gotten out of control. I swear, braids used to be, like, $50 for two straight backs. They charge in a house, a car, and two legs now for straight backs. And I'm just like, the talent is the same, but the prices are just out of this world. But I'm like, hey, I'm going to give you the car, the leg, the arm, the eye. I'm going to give you everything because these braids were bomb. $70. It could have gotten me seven, six, number six is from McDonald's. If y'all know what that is, you a real one. Ten piece nugget, that's 70 nuggets I could have had. But instead, I wanted to get my hair done. So she should be grateful, but we'll get into that. So I book her, I'm like, bet, say no more. So I'm all excited, I'm all hype. You know how you, you get a hair appointment, you just like really hype and stuff? That's how I was. So I hopped in the car, my mom picked me up, my mom get my hair done. She said, all right, where is it? I'm like, the hood. Because I mean, the hood does the best hair, the best nails. Look at these, look at the, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Why isn't, oh my God, the hood, the hood. Like they have little, oh my gosh, hold on. I don't know why it's not, I don't, you know, it has snowflakes in it, okay? So anyway, um, she's like, the hood, I'm like, get yeah, a hood, mom, the hood. Of course it's the hood. So she's like, all right, I'll, I'll take you tomorrow. You know, I'm in bed, I can't even sleep, so I'm just so ecstatic I'm getting my hair done, you know? You know, just that feeling of just being pampered, you know, getting, getting your hair and nails done, it's just, uh, it's great. So, I, I can't even sleep. In I'm acting like the next day is Christmas, you know? I'm just super hype. Um, wake up, go to work. You know, I don't even, I'm not even mad I have to wake up and go to work. Because I know after work, I'm getting my hair done. Okay? So, I blow dry my hair that night. Whatever, whatever. I'm going to put a picture in of what my hair looked like blow dried, okay? Because my hair, I had inches. Sorry, I did. So, um... You know, I pull up to work. I'm like, what's up, what's up? I'm like, oh, nice for the kids because I'm like, I'm, I'm getting my hair done. Hello, how's your day? Good morning. 
you know? So I'm, I'm teasing them tennis, whatever, whatever. It comes forward. My mom's beep, beep. She pull up. I'm like, Mom, so happy. She's like, now where's this place? I'm like, Mom, I told you it's in the hood. <laughs> so she drives to the hood, you know? I get a text on the way that says, I don't have red hair. If y'all didn't know, my hair was red. Um, I asked her. She provides the hair, mind you. She, um, I told her the day before I wanted red hair, and she just didn't get it. So she said, I don't have red hair. So she's like, so I'm like, okay. She said, so you can go to the um, nearby hair store and get the hair. Um... My attitude wasn't as strong as it was back then, but if it was, Mortal Kombat. <laughs> I just don't know who she was talking to. I just don't know what kind of customer service that was. But, you know, I was just, I was, what, how old? 17. So excited to get my hair and I was like, you know, I'm, I'll go right to that hair, so no problem. You know, I was just, I was a punk. So my mom was like, uh-uh, she better reimburse you. I'm like, mom, chill out. So she pull up to the hair so store. I get the hair. I can't tell if it's the right color hair. So I'm just like kind of panicking, but I get the hair, whatever, whatever. Pull out. My mom drives me back to the place. She park, and we both hop out, and we get in. So I'm like, so we get in, right? It's three hairstylists. One's, one's sitting there. One's, another one's sitting there, and one's doing locks, right? So I'm just like, I, I walk in, no greeting. No. Hi. <laughs> How are you today? None. So I'm looking at the two girls that have empty chairs, and I'm just like, so who, who I'm, who chair I'm sitting in? But I ain't sitting because I didn't. I wasn't like this, you know. So I was just like, and they're just like looking. So I'm like, you know what? Who's? And I said her name. I said, who's? She said, that's me. I'm like, so you don't even say hello, hi, like nothing. I'm just, oh, this is going to be a chair. So I sit in the chair. She whispered in my ear. I said, Girl. she says, no extra guest. I said, what? She said, no extra guest. So I'm like, what's that supposed to mean? She's like, yeah, mom. So I look over at mom sitting on the couch that's provided for extra, for the guest to sit on. She said, do you want to tell her or do you want me to tell her? So I said, my mom can't stay here. She said, no. Let me just, let me just, let me just explain to you. The shop was as big as a church. With three seats in it. In a waiting area. So what is she taking up? She literally was not taking up, up no space. She had a, her own little couch. What, like, what is she doing wrong? So I'm like, I'm like, mom, I'm like, I'm, I'll get up. I'm like, yo, shut the. I get up. I'm like, mom, she's saying you can't stay here. She's like, the ghetto. We're not coming back here. She walks out. I'm like, this a bad job. It's like, oh, bye, mom. <laughs> so I sit back in the chair. She um takes my ponytail holders out like this. She snatched, no, like literally, she snatched them out. And I'm like, that is just so rude. It's just like, I don't, I don't get why some hairdressers are so money hungry that they don't even care about, like, the quality of the service or, like, <laughs> the health of your hair. So she does that. My hair is already colored, so it's very weak. It's red. It, it was bleached, like, twice, I think. Like, something like that. So it's already weak, right? She get a face gun call. How'd the call go? How'd the tone go? Dun, 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 Pick up the phone. Hey, girl. Yeah, so I, uh -huh, yep, girl. Mm, mm, -hmm. yep, mm, -hmm, mm, -hmm. mm -hmm. yeah, girl. Mm -hmm. So I'm sitting there. Mm -hmm, girl, yeah, mm -hmm. yeah, mm -hmm. So it's already like uh, she already got like a B minus. No, a C. She got an F right now. Her grade is an F. So she pulled my hair. She literally, so mind you, I blow dried it the night before. I don't need no more heat. If you a good hairstylist, you can snatch, you can snatch my hair up. She blow dries it again. I see all my hair falling on the floor. I'm like, I just want these braids. You know, I don't care if my hair, I don't care if my hair is bald right now. I just want my braids because I'm just, I just was so dumb. 
So then she takes a flat ironer, oh, a hot comb, burns, she literally like flattens my hair, then she straightens it with a, a straightener. Literally, please do not say you are a braider if you can't braid hair after it's blow dried. It's okay if your client comes in with like, it's not all the way blow dried, so you go through it like twice or three times, but you literally blow dried it again, hot combed it, and straightened it. So my hair was in shambles, honey. I look like Ronald McDonald. <laughs> okay, so I'm like about to cry. I'm like, but I want my braids so bad. So she, she starts braiding my hair. She gives me the thing of hair to hold. She's like, here, hold this. So I'm sitting here getting my hair braided with the, with the thing, in, with just sitting like this. I couldn't be on my phone. Couldn't do nothing because I'm holding the hair that she's supposed to. So she's taking a little bit, a little bit from my hand, braiding it on, adding it on, adding it on. She starts talking about Shameless on her phone, right? Mind you, I was on season three, maybe. She's talking about something. Yeah, girl, have you seen Shameless, honey? I said, oh, <laughs> excuse me, can you please, um, like, not talk about that because I haven't watched it. She's like, yeah, um, Debbie died, and, um, what's his name? He, he got shot, so I'm like, this is so ghetto. <laughs> this is so ghetto. I'm like, this is so ghetto. So now I know Debbie died, and, and he got shot. So I'm like, So this is not it, guys. Like I would, you would think this is it, but it's not. So you finish up those corny behind braids, right? And I'm like sitting there. I'm like, are you gonna like reimburse me because like you said you provided hair, and I didn't, you know, I bought, I, I, I physically bought the braids. She goes, no. I just really wish that this happened when I'm when I was in my prime, like right now, because like she would not gotten away with. So I'm like, okay, um, I and I cashed her her the money. She was like, you can go now. And y'all know I sometimes exaggerate, but I'm not. I swear, I promise, I'm really not. I swear to God. I really don't. I'm really not. I'm really not exaggerating. I'm, I'm really not. I swear. Like I'm really not. Like I, I promise you, I'm really not. And then she was like, like remember how I told you she takes pictures of her clients? No pictures. Nothing. I must have just been the ugliest Ronald McDonald looking behind. I really must have been that ugly. But I insert some clips because I was cute and I know I was. But she was just like was so disrespectful. And I wrote her a bad review. Mm hmm. Yes, I did. Mm hmm. Sure did. Okay. Because she's not gonna get away with that. Mm hmm. I'm pretty sure she still is, but that's it, guys. Oh, and this is what my hair looked like after I got it done. That's how much she, like, broke my ends off. So, I'm not going to say, like, her name or nothing because that's not my, my job to ruin her career like that. You know, you know I'm not like that, but close out with the story time. That was just a traumatic experience, and I still blame her for, like, my hair not being where I think it's supposed to be. So she's the she's the reason. So that's it. <laughs> Bye, guys. Okay, so